Especially in my village, I, I so much love the leaf because of My mommy told me that moringa is lower the sugar body, uh, sugar level in the body, and uh, it's cure for typhoid patients. From the leaves. Even the Moringa seed is very, very, very high in lowering blood glucose. So the disadvantage here is that some people used to take it without measurement. Some people will just be chewing the, the seeds like that. If you are not careful, it will lower the blood glucose, glucose level to the barest minimum that instead of... Soup and even tea of moringa. Moringa is so important to the human body, like adding blood and uh, cooling. It's medicinal for each side for somebody that have like. It's a name of a family of plants that we use uh, throughout the uh, tropical region. There is a taste in here that you cannot find in other vegetables. And the more you eat it, the more it becomes tasty and you keep on asking for it. Moringa is a leaf that they use for cooking and especially in my village, I, I so much love the leaf because if they prepare it the way they used to prepare it, our own traditional food, I usually used to enjoy it so much seriously and it used to add much blood to human body and it's very very important if they used to advise in some occasion or any this thing like that that you should be putting it to some is the admin. Moringa is not just a vegetable and it has an unusual flavor. There is more to this tree and its flavor but you keep on eating and eating and you can feel your body is more energetic, more healthy and you can see the difference because you keep on being so active. Moringa serves as a medicine, home medicine for so many elements. The skin, the stomach ulcer, intestinal ulcer and so many other things. So we consider it as a home remedy for so many diseases, both nutritionally and medically. In Nigeria, Moringa is used in our daily lives so we can have more energy, more vitamin to supplement daily nutrition in our body. The tree is called Moringa. A lot of houses plant it in their compound and it can also be found in the forest. The pharmacologists say there are many nutritional and medicinal uses of Moringa. All parts of the tree are usable, from the root to the stem to the leaves and flowers and to the parts. I'd like to add that uh, there are certain properties of Moringa that is not uh, often recognized in our cultures, like the, the type of elemental iron it contains is very, very, very uh, important in medicine. But the most in our culture, it is not taken because of that, but in in modern science, we have discovered it has a lot of elemental ion. Uh, it could be used also as a replacement therapy. You can use the wood as a tea, and then the trunk, you can scrape it, squeeze it, get the juice, then apply the juice that come out of it to your wound. This can heal a cut skin. 
It lowers the blood glucose level, especially for the diabetes. The advocacy for Moringa now is highly for the diabetic patients. It lowers the blood glucose level. When you boil the Moringa, wash it properly, boil and make the water cool. It lowers the blood glucose level. That is the major uh, uh, importance of the Moringa leaf water after you boil it and cool it. When I am taking soup and even tea of Moringa, Moringa is so important to the human body, like adding blood and... Some cultures has used Moringa plants as medicine for thousands of years. And the nutritionist says Moringa is worthy of its reputation as a tree with unusual nutritional property. Moringa is one of these trees that is a multipurpose plant that fulfills such a high percentage of basic needs that when people get used to using it, they really can't see what it is like to live without it. it and uh, maybe sieve. Then you can even blend the Moringa itself and make it as a juice. The Moringa itself raw. Just wash it, blend it in a blender, add some little uh, flavor or sugar if, if it is desired. If not, you just take it like that. And it serves, it, it treats a lot of people with uh, so many people that have ulcer and uh, diabetes are taking it and it really helps. Today, Moringa is used as a remedy and in essence a multivitamin across the nation. Moringa is used widely in Africa, Asia, and it will be introduced in South America and Central America. This is not just a plant for single community. Moringa tree is usually in arid subtropical region, places like African, Southern Indian, and other places where Moringa has proven its persistence. Family of, it's a name of a family of plants that we use uh, throughout the uh, tropical region and of course of subtropical region. There are a large number of the family are edible, meaning uh, they could be used, they could be taken without any harm. This is Moringa, popularly known as Zogele in Aousa. The health benefits of Moringa cannot be overemphasized in human life. It can be consumed in many ways. We use it for soup, it can, the leaf can be boiled and consumed the seed, it can be dried, the powder is useful. This is a plant that really do extraordinarily well in some of the difficult areas. Areas that are hot and very dry, where other things are very difficult to cultivate. Moringa survive well in dry areas. As far as research is concerned, we have not come across any property that it has that a particular body will reject it or not. And there hasn't been any uh, history of a person that rejects Moringa. Anybody, the child, the adult, the geriatrics, anyone can eat Moringa. We have not seen any, any person brought to us to, to the best of us. Moringa is rich in nutrients, antioxidants, compound and vitamins. Reasons why scientists call it the miracle tree. Most of the plants are popular for various particular vitamins, but Moringa is very unusual because this single plant contains a wide variety of nutrients with also quite a very high amount. And nutritionally, it uh, serves as an antioxidant and then it cures a lot of uh, nutritional diseases such as diabetes, hypertension, which means it works uh, as an agent that lowers the blood glucose level and uh, the uh, hypertension generally. Moringa is not only a food to be consumed in human life. It can also be used as a medicine that can cure so many diseases. Scientists say that when you squeeze a moringa, the juice can be used to suppress high blood pressure and some other illnesses. Like at home, my mom do take moringa. While she prepare her tea, she put the leaf inside the tea. This concentration of nutrients combined with low calories and low sodium content 
makes moringa an ideal energy field or supplement that can help us set the tropical health and diet. It's a green leafy vegetable, very green, dark green, and all green leafy vegetables are vegetables that are known to contain iron, phosphorus, and other high um, vegetables, especially the B vitamins and uh, some other chemicals that are very, very beneficial to the body. Moringa is well known for being a good source of leafy green vegetable protein, and you don't get a lot of protein out of many vegetable foods other than beans and something like that. So getting it out of a leaf is really a big deal. The water for Moringa, it lowers the blood glucose level, especially for the diabetes. The advocacy for Moringa now is highly for the diabetic patients. It lowers the blood glucose level. When you boil the Moringa, wash it properly, boil and make the water cool. It lowers the blood glucose. Moringa contains all the nine essential amino acids that actually we cannot produce. People have been using Moringa for ages, even without knowing the health benefits as normal food for survival. Apart from the leaves, even the Moringa seed is very, very, very high in lowering blood glucose. So the disadvantage here is that some people used to take it without measurement. Some people will just be chewing the, the seeds like that. If you are not careful, it will lower the blood glucose, glucose level to the barest minimum that instead of treating diabetes, you go into hypoglycemia, which is a low blood glucose level. And it is another problem, which is more dangerous than the hyperglycemia, the diabetic problem that we have. So this is one of the disadvantages. Anything. However, anything that is considered medicinal or nutritional to the body has a limit of injection.